and our Thanksgiving special is being filmed on location from the Rated Test Cutlery Test Kitchen. Now we wanted to give you an inside look at this American-made company and show you how they prepare for their busiest time of the year, the holiday season. Knives, cookbooks, and candles. Just a few of the products produced at Rada Manufacturing Company. The company started in 1948 and has been making all its products here in Waverly ever since. Rada President Gary Nelson says the location of the company contributes to its success. The American-made theme is growing. We're, we're finding more and more customer comments that are directly aimed at us for the fact that we're American-made. Currently, the company is preparing for its busiest time of the year, Christmas. During our peak season, um, we can have as many as 3,000 packages go out of here on a given day. During the first nine, ten months of the year, it probably averages more between three and 600 packages a day. Preparation for Christmas begins at the beginning of the year. Nelson says the company sets a goal to produce a certain amount of products each day, every day, all year long. We physically can't produce um, at the same level that we sell. So we have to make a sales forecast at the beginning of the year. And, and as an example, this year, we, we, you know, we come up with an estimate that we need to produce about 18,000 knives a day in order to, to meet the fall rush. In addition to the challenges of preparing for the season, Nelson says there's also the added challenge of the changing times. With the benefit of technology, orders are now able to be shipped sooner and customers expect faster turnaround times. He says that when he first came to Rada 33 years ago, the busiest day of the year for shipping was the third Monday in November, but this has changed. It ended up being the Monday before Thanksgiving, then it became the Monday after Thanksgiving, then it became the first Monday in December, and now our busiest day of the year is the second Monday of December. The company plans ahead and increases workers around the holidays, but Nelson says they mostly have to rely on their intuition to make it through the seasonal rush. We kind of hang on for dear life and hope we predicted correctly that we'll make it through the Christmas season and that we've produced what is going to be adequate to fill the orders.